this is the topology that we have. Whoa. All right. Let me explain this topology first, and then we'll uh, get into the details of uh, the firewalls one by one. All right. So uh, this is the topology we have. We'll uh, start with Cisco ASA first. Let me explain you the topology. This is going to be a test user and the topology we are considering for Cisco ASA is this. We have a test user on the inside of the network and we have a router which represents uh, the outside of our network. So let me start these up and also let me wipe all the configuration so that we can start from fresh I'll start ASA, I'll start the router. So you just have to click on these guys. So you just have to click on these to get access to the console of these devices. And the best part and the awesome part is you don't need any client software for this. You can do this in your web browser. All right, looks like the router and the ASA are booting up. Mm -hmm. I think it's almost done. Okay, it looks like we have entered in the configuration wizard. Let me exit it out. Okay, I have restarted the firewall. Let it boot up. In the meantime, we will configure the router as per our uh, topology. Let's look at the topology again. This is going to be our internal network that is the inside network or you can say the secure network which will be having a subnet of uh, 192.168.1.0 .1 with a mask of 24. Ethernet 1 which will be the inside interface of the firewall will be configured with an IP of uh, .254 and the outside will be configured as .1 .1. So let's configure the router which will have uh, 12.002 on its fast ethernet 0 slash 0 which connects to the ASA so that's pretty straightforward configuration on uh, routers I go to fast ethernet 00, 0 and give the IP address along with the mask do a no chat I also give the static route IP route 192.168.1. Our PC here is 1.1. .1. So, what I'm doing here is I would like this router to have a route to reach 192.168.1.1 because by default it will only be having routes for 12 network, which is the directly connected network. So that's a 1.1 with the mask of 32 and the next stop that I want is to be the firewall interface which is 12.001. So that's all for the router. I'll write the configuration. I'll go to ASA pre-configuration firewall through interest 
interactive prompt which is the configuration mode I don't want this to go through this so I do a no here this enters in the usual prompt this is the default prompt of Cisco ASA guys this is more or less uh, like your Cisco routers only it has uh, three modes enable mode user mode and uh, configuration mode to enter same thing we have to do enable but the different here is it asks for password but by default there is no password so you just have to hit enter and you are in the privilege mode obviously you can give the password here but for now we will uh, stick to the default uh, configurations only like giving the IP addresses and uh, checking the flow I'll go to the configuration mode of it I'll go to interface Ethernet 1 which is this interface Ethernet 1 and I will configure it to be 192.168.1.254 and Ethernet 0 with 12.001 so there are certain things guys that I need to keep in mind here Ethernet 1 IP address 192.168.1.254 with a mask of 24 and I do a no shut this is not enough what I have to do is I have to do a few more things To bring Ethernet 1 up, I would require IP address, which I've already given. I would require a no shut command, and I would also require a security level to that particular interface and a name to that particular interface, which is Ethernet 1 in our case. So, what is the security level concept? Security level concept is from 0 to 100 you can give any security level to a particular interface and the concept is from higher security level to lower security level all the communication is allowed it will exempt all the policies and it will be allowed but the communication which goes from lower to higher will hit all the policies and we will have to explicitly allow it through the policies so in our case traffic going from inside to outside this interface having a security level of 100 this will be having 0 so 0 being least trusted 100 being most trusted communication from 100 to 0 is allowed return traffic will also be allowed but the new connections which are trying to get through the firewall from 0 to 100 will not be allowed they will have to be allowed through policies so let's go back to the prompt and configure things I will require security level which I can give 100 because Ethernet 1 is our internal interface and I'm also going to give a name inside so it takes a while name inside there are certain keywords inside if you name any interface to be inside it will automatically have a security level of 100 even if you don't give it and any other keyword apart from inside if given to interface as name the security level would be zero we will experience that for ethernet zero I'm gonna give the IP address of 12.001 do a no shot name if outside name if is the command to give name and there you go security level for outside set to zero by default if I would have given inside here it would be 100 by default so let's get out of here and saving is same as routers and if you want to show the interfaces in routers you issue command show IP interface brief that doesn't work here you it's slightly the other way around it is show interface IP brief 
yeah that's kind of crazy but that's how it is 12.001 192.168.1.254 looks good. Now when we have given IP addresses to the interfaces, let's look at the routing table of the firewall. Show route is the command. And you can see 12 network and 192.168.1.0 network is directly connected on their respective interfaces. Okay, and firewall for this particular topology does not require any specific route as it can reach 192.168.1.0 and 12.0 as they are directly connected all right so let's check on this test user if he can reach 12.002 which is outside of our network I go to CMT, I do a ping 12.0.0.2 and we are not able to ping. So let's look at why are we not able to ping this. Let's look at the IP address first. Although there's a script which tells me what is the IP address on your machine but still to be double sure let's look at in the properties this is an IP address of 192.168.1.1 and the default gateway is 1.253 which we do not want we want the gateway to be 1.254 which is our firewall so I'll change this Now let's ping again 12.002 and I see that we are still not able to ping but now there is a difference in the error earlier it said that reply from 1.1 destination host is not reachable but right now it is reachable but there is some other problem that's why we are getting request timed out so let's go to the firewall and let's check what is the problem. Guys, as I mentioned earlier in the video, oops, let me clear this up. From the inside of my network, if anything goes through the firewall to internet, it will be allowed as this is going from 100 to 0. But the firewall is definitely not allowing ICMP. Yes, this is an exception. The stateful inspection. Cisco ASA does stateful inspection, but by default, it does not do this stateful inspection for ICMP traffic. So we will have to tell the firewall to do the stateful inspection for ICMP. So we can check all the listed protocols by default that will be entertained by Cisco ASA for stateful inspection. Let's look at them and add ICMP to it. We do a show run and at the end of the configuration what you see here is there is a policy map which has listed all the protocol names which are going to be statefully inspected by the ASA so we don't see ICMP in this there are two options to add ICMP to it one is you go to uh, policy global Go to class inspection default and write inspect ICMP and there is a better way to do it. What you can do is you can use the fix up command fix up protocol ICMP. So the message is converting fix up protocol ICMP to MPF commands. MPF is a modular policy framework which is displayed over here modular policies inspection map getting called into a class map and then 
that class map is get, getting called into a policy map so this is a modular policy that cisco works on on uh, most of its devices now let's uh, try and ping from the user there you go now you're able to ping it so that was the default behavior from asa it does not allow icmp by default through it however you can ping the directly connected interfaces without any policy i can ping 1.254 from the pc and i can ping Twelve dot zero dot zero dot one from the router. So that's about Cisco ASA, guys. We can have a lot of details about uh, Cisco ASA, but and that's all for uh, this particular video.